how was your fun Sunday with David, Mike? <laughs> what? David wasn't there. Don't make it weird. Not that part, but we had a good Sunday. Oh, yeah, we had a good Sunday. We went to, uh, I don't remember anything we did. Santa oh, we went, to Santa, <laughs> we, went to, we went to Santa Monica. We went, it was National Cookie Day. We went looking for cookies. Uh, all the stores were closed. And I have this personal health uh, thing that every weekend I like to go get a massage. I'm very big on it. I check the Yelp reviews. I go to places that have trained pre- professionals. I believe that self-care Sundays are a great way to uh, reactivate yourself for the upcoming week. And right? what do you not do on Sundays, Michael? I so He that, doesn't go to church. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope, well, this kind of fucks with the story. I also don't jerk off on Sundays or watch porn because it's the Sabbath. This man called me. Stressing about blue balls. Mm. He's like, I won't do it. Mm-hmm. Not on the Lord's Day. Yeah. Continue your story, though, Mike. Well, it, it kind of, yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, the other day, uh, I was looking for a new massage place. And, you know, I, I went to one place and actually walked in. And it was disgusting. And the people had really long fingernails that looked like I was going to get, like, scabies or some sort of staph infection. So I left. And I found this other place that was extremely high rated. I was like, why is this place rated so high? They must, you know, really have great masseuses here. And I walked in, I said I wanted a 45 minute massage and the rate was a little bit higher than normal. Oh, they wanted no. they wanted 60 bucks instead of like, usually it's like 35, 40 bucks, whatever for the 45 minutes at these small places. And I started looking around and um, all of the women was a top, it, I shouldn't say that, it was it was a massage place. And all of the women were, um, were like in their like 20s and 30s. Like they weren't like the normal, like, you know, women that you'd see at these places and they're all they're kind of like hot chicks dude you know what i'm saying i was just like wow this is this place really is nice did this place have a fish tank in it yeah i'm sure it did so (laughs) i I know what you're talking about so i go i go i go lay down on the table and the lady comes in and she's being kind of like you know like very talkative like ask me questions like where do you what area do you live in like um you know what do you do for a living and i'm you know i'm of course giving her every single piece of personal detail because that's how i am and just telling her everything about myself and uh, she's giving me this good massage. She's kneeling in my back and like really working her her fingers into my spine and shit. And she's like, "Okay, flip over." So I flip over, and she starts massaging my um my thighs, and then keeps kind of working up to like the side of my my balls a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like she's kind of just working in there and really getting deep into the into the loins. You know, it's a sensitive location. You know, and you start to get that little tingly pringly mm-hmm. in your wiener, and like you're like, dude, like this is a massage, dude. I shouldn't be feeling like this is yep. something normal people do. You know, not just me. And she just kept massaging, and then all of a sudden she like went like in my stomach area, and I was like damn, like I've never had a stomach massage before. She's checking for like some sort of intestinal cancer or something, like what's good? And she like was massaging my stomach and she like kept accidentally like grazing by my cock, bro, which, you know, obviously was at that point, like, you know, it was like waking up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like dude, this Because I'm very relaxed. I'm like basically sleeping. And like, you know, she's massaging the area, but like her hand is like kind of chafing the tip of my dick back and forth. And like, I'm like, damn, maybe she just thinks it's like a, my thumb or something because they're about the same size. <laughs> so I'm just sitting there, dude. And now, like, my dick is, like, kind of hard, yeah. bro, right? The tent and, has been pitched. Yeah, dude. Are you and, under the towel still? Yeah, I'm still under the towel, but she's got it, like, really spread to the side. Mm. And then she finishes up in that area, and she starts to go down the leg, and, and then she stops, and she's like, do you want me to massage that area? Oh. Have you never got it offered a happy ending massage? Not Probably not one accidentally. Fucking time in my life have and I go for massages every single week. Have I ever been offered or at a place that could even be construed to offer that type of activity? No exaggeration. Fifty times has been offered. Dog, me. dog. Fifty times. My, I don't even bring my mom to massage parlors anymore. I'm so fucking. How like, many times has your mom been offered? Well, twice. She <laughs> take no, it? I just take her to like the really nice. Hotel ones where I know they're not touching her. But yeah, no, I read less. So I don't get massages out in LA, dude. Because every time I lay down in that bed, I go, no, somebody nutted here like 10 minutes ago. Oh. Will, you, will your girlfriend be upset if you get uh, happy ended? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think she would if it was like a massage thing. Like, there's a lot of countries that allow that as a massage thing. If it was like an old lady and she was doing it, I don't think she'd be bothered. But if it was like all these supermodels coming in to do it, she'd be like, all right, that's not supermodels. Sexy. They were just like, you know. But obviously, no, I wouldn't do that, by the way. I don't think she'd be like, I think she'd be a lot mad if I was like, I went to Tampa the other day with Logan. (laughs) (laughs) That was a conversation. That was a conversation. (laughs) Okay, Mikey, so an accident. I'm sorry, I thought thought we were just going to end it there. Well, no, because we got to know what happened. Yeah. Did you get a happy ending? 
this is tough to say no when you're sitting there all all vulnerable with a boner and stuff. Primed too. What did you do? Well, I said, I said, oh. she was like, "Do you want me to massage that area?" And I said, "I mean, sure." That was my answer. I said, "I mean, sure." And she and she was like, "Well, <laughs> that doesn't really cut it. Like, I need like a firm yes or no." And I was like, part of me wanted to be like, "That's entrapment." <laughs> Where are they located? <laughs> and when are they Just running in the fucking room? <laughs> <laughs> when are they coming in the room? No, but I was like, yeah, I mean, all right. And she was, and I was like, what, you know, what's that, what's that kind of thing run me? And she was like, a hundred. I said, lady, a that's hundred? a little fucking steep. <laughs> that's literally what I said. I go, that's a little steep for an old fashioned. This is where I get lost. In, uh, That's a little in, in happy steep. ending parlors. This I cannot and will not negotiate while I have a boner. It's kind of a rule I have in my life. A hundred percent. That's crazy because all my negotiations happen while I have a boner. <laughs> Come on, baby, suck my dick now. <laughs> get after we get dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Call it the appetizer. Yeah, come on. Come on. And uh, and of course, so so that negotiation pretty much went like this. A hundred dollars. That's a pretty. Pretty steep price, lady. She goes, it's the price. I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you don't negotiate when you have bar. You have bar. I said, all right. <laughs> not one more, not one more argument. <laughs> I said, perfect. <laughs> you could have said 500 at that point. I would have been like, take my Amex. Oh, wait. So why did, why do you call him with blue balls? Are you? No, nah, it was a different time. Oh, she got the job done. They're really impressive usually. No. Dog. 30 seconds. Milliseconds. Yeah, I was about to say. The, these, these, they're these professionals, women, bro. They waste yeah. no time. Man. They walk in and their training camps are a bunch of dildos and they're just training <laughs> each one. They even, they practice arousing you too. 